remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? You're gonna love this one, I promise you. A hitman hired a hitman who hired a hitman who hired a hitman who hired a hitman. <laughs> this happened in Beijing. This dude who is a businessman in China by the name of Tan Yui, he had a problem with his business partner. So he wanted to wipe off the map. So he hired a hitman. So the hitman didn't want to do the job. So he passed it off to another hitman for half the price. What was the price? What's the going rate for a murder? What's the going rate for a murder, a business partner murder in Beijing? 218,000 pounds, which is about 280,000 US dollars. So it starts off at, let's say, 280,000 US dollars. And the first hitman chops the value down to the hitman he subcontracted the hit to. So what is 280,000? Half of that, that's 140. So now the price is down to 140. So he goes, so this guy takes it to another hitman who drops the price, who takes it to another hitman who drops the price again. You know? And then finally, the last hitman decides that he's so incensed that the price has, the original price has dropped so far that he goes to the guy that's supposed to be killed and tells him about the plot and tells him to fake his death. And this is how the police found out about the plot. Way too many participants. That's for any type of crime. <laughs> I've never heard of something so wild. Well, I guess I have, but damn, these stories just keep coming, man. Thank God for the internet. Boy, we're finding out things that we would have never known about had it not been for the advent of the internet. Oh, man. Hitman hires a hitman who hires a hitman who hires a hitman who hires a hitman. That needs to be a movie. I need to work on that. That is dope. That would be a dope concept for a movie. Man. So let's go, let's just take a look at the time they got. So the the guy who plotted the whole thing, the businessman who hired the first hitman, he received five years in prison. And all of the other guys got three years or less. That's it. Boy, that money is something else, man. That money is something else. And the last dude who told, is his attitude is very indicative of people all across the board. This happens all the time where people are doing dirt and one person feels like they're not getting enough of the money. They're not getting cut in enough. And they go out and do something stupid. Or they just straight up go tail. And the whole plot falls apart. Dude didn't like that. That happened in, to a number of people I know, like in the real estate game. They was knocking down people, what was that, about 10, 15 years ago when they started taking people down? When the real estate market crashed, they went in and started arresting all of those mortgage people and uh, realtors and all of that. They was knocking them down left and right. But a lot of it started with somebody feeling like they're not getting their fair share. So even if you are getting your fair share and you're doing something dirty, 
chances are somebody's going to slip up eventually. Remember, uh, was that Goodfellas? Was that Goodfellas? Yeah, that was Goodfellas. When they robbed this, uh, I believe it was a, uh, an armored truck. Was it an armored truck? They robbed, I can't remember exactly what, what they robbed. They robbed an armored truck, uh, a, an armored truck company, the whole company. Big heist. I think the heist was like $10 million or something. And they told everybody, lay low, don't spend no money, don't buy nothing, lay low. They show up at the club one night and one of the dudes is in there and he got his, his wife has on a fur coat. So that was the beginning of the end. Boy, that money is something else, man. This is absolutely a wild story. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm about to start writing the script right now. A hitman hires a hitman, hires a hitman, hires a hitman, hires a hitman. Just know, I told you here first. No more talk. What the talking about?